Uh, good evening and welcome to the May 15th uh, planning board uh, meeting. Nancy, please take attendance. Commissioner Narenberg. Present. Commissioner Gorman. Present. Chairman Leo. Present. On this agenda this evening, we have uh, uh, four items. The approval of the meeting minutes held on April 17th, uh, 187 White Plains Road, which is a return, uh, 150 Main Street, which is a return, and we also have 242 White Plains Road, which has been adjourned. Uh, so uh, at this point, I'd like to call up uh, 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 150 Main Street. Mr. Chair, if I may for a second. Yes. This is to the applicants. As you can tell, there's only three members up there, so you will need a unanimous vote tonight, so you have the choice to go forward tonight or adjourn. It's your choice. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, give me just a second. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the meeting minutes uh, uh, held on April 7th. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so I'm sorry. So uh, this is 150 uh, Main Street, the new fitness center, Arms Theory. Um, since we last met, I understand you've been able to acquire three additional parking spaces within uh, one of the buildings. I think it's across the street. So currently you have uh, uh, 10 uh, parking spaces dedicated to, to you. 10 first come first basis and then you have three which are going to be uh, just for your employees is that correct yes that's correct okay so since uh so n n has anything else changed since we last met uh, no, no okay no, great all right so at this point i make a motion to uh open the public hearing second please so moved. all in favor aye all right uh, is anyone here this evening to speak on this uh project since i see no one here i make a motion to close the public hearing so moved Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Um, so at this point, uh, I'd like to read a resolution. Uh, which one is this? This is 150 Main Street. Okay. Uh, the Village of Tuckahoe, a planning board resolution decision, applicant Red Wing 3637 LLC. Location of the project is 150 Main Street, Tuckahoe, New York, section 29, block, uh, block 9, lot 1. Description of the project is uh, Red, Wing, Red Wing 3637 LLC is seeking to open an Orange Theory Sports Facility at 150 Main Street and is seeking a site plan approval from this board. The location, 150 Main Street, where the sports facility is proposed is an existing building and there are currently two vacant retail spaces located at the premises. The applicant is seeking to occupy both retail spaces. On May 9, 2018, the applicant received a special permit to operate a sports club facility from the Tuckahoe Zoning Board of Appeals. As part of the, of the approval for the special permit, the Zoning Board of Appeals relied on recommendation of this board of the adequacy of the parking facility. Further, in rendering this decision, this board has, has had multiple work session, sessions, multiple public hearings, and input from the village planners, BFG planning. BFJ planning, excuse me. The board must look at section 7-1 of the Village of Tuckahoe Zoning Code for standards to approve this site plan. The following are the standards and our analysis of the same. Uh, number one, safe, adequate, and convenient vehicular and pedestrian traffic circulation both within and without the site. The applicant is seeking to open a sports facility at 150 Main Street. The circulation plan for vehicular and pedestrian traffic was extensively, extensively reviewed by this board at the time of the approval of the site plan for the building itself. We rely on our prior approval as the circulation plan. The applicant has demonstrated in the instant, instant application that the parking uh, to be provided is adequate for the use posed. The applicant will provide 10 dedicated parking spaces and 10 additional spaces to be used on a first come first served basis. Since the filing of this application, the applicant uh, uh, has secured three additional parking spaces located in a parking garage across the street from the premises to be used by the applicant's employees. Further, the parking has been reviewed by the villager, village's plan, planners, BFJ planning, who has determined that the, the parking is adequate. We agree. Number two, the protection of environmental quality, quality and the preserva pers preservation preservation uh, and enhancement of the property values of the neighborhood a neighboring area. The use of the premises as, as a sports facility is allowed in this district by special permit issued by the Zoning Board of Appeals. As stated previously, the Zoning Board of Appeals has issued the special permit to the applicant. We find that a sports facility will protect and enhance the property values in a neighboring area as a sports facility is a, is a permitted use in the district. Number three, a quality of building and overall site design which will enhance and protect the character and property values of the adjacent neighborhood. The applicant will 
be occupying an existing building which has been recently recently completed. The board, in, in its prior approval, extensively reviewed and the use of this building and overall site design, and found same to be an enhancement of the character and property values of the adjacent neighborhood. Based on the above, the applicant's proposed site plan is approved with the following conditions. Number one, there shall be at least, uh, I don't, I'm sorry, number one, there shall be at all times 10 dedicated parking, uh, parking spaces to be used by the applicant with additional 10 spaces to be used on a first come first serve basis. In addition, there will be three additional uh, spaces to be used by the applicant's employees located at the parking garage across the street from the, uh, from the premises. Number two, there shall be a minimum of 15 minutes between classes. Number three, class size shall be limited to a maximum, maximum of 39 participants. Number four, the, f the uh, operating hours shall not exceed the following times. Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 9.30 p.m., and then Saturday and Sunday, 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, every representation of the Okay. Every uh, representation of the applicant made in its application er, and presentation will be a condition of disapproval. Any deviation from the, from the representations made shall be cause for the revocation of said approval. I make a motion to approve this uh, uh, resolution. Second? Second. Nancy, please take call. Roll call. Uh, Commissioner Four. Commissioner Gorman. Four. Chairman In favor. Congratulations, welcome to the community, and we wish you much uh, success. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, our next, next uh, will be 187 White Plains Road. Hi, good evening. My name is Joyce Kennedy, and I'm the Director of Community Relations at Concordia College. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on where we're at since the last meeting. Um, last month. Uh, essentially, in order to accommodate the neighbors along Winslow Circle, we are keeping the press box on the Rose Avenue side next to the bleachers. We will attach the sound system speakers to poles in the northeast and northwest corners of the field facing back towards Winslow Circle, uh, sorry, excuse me, Rose Avenue. Pole height and location will be depicted on the final site plan, which Chris will show you in a few minutes. During the May 1 working session, uh, we presented the following to the board. Rendering for the press box, which the board approved. All construction materials for both the comfort station and the press box. Brick to be used in construction will be matched to existing buildings on the main campus of Concordia, and roof will be metal in a gray matte color. Discussed two similar bleacher options, one cement base and the other steel base, both with high quality wooden seats, same as the Coney Island boardwalk. Final base selection will be determined based on site conditions and budget. We reviewed the fencing options. Board approved wooden pine or cedar fencing with a dark stain, not a natural, along the north and east sides of the field. And fencing along the two other sides will be decorative steel, which again, Chris will show you in a minute. We reviewed the turf selection as well as the padding, and the board approved those. Um, the circulation plan was updated to include comments made at the April 17th planning board meeting and reviewed with the board on May 1st. The circulation plan and where appropriate the site plan now includes the crosswalk from the tennis center to the turf field entrance, the bike rack location, location of all portable signage, and I have a sample of that with me tonight, and closure of the comfort and concession station when the turf field is not in use. While buses cannot idle or park on Rose Avenue, it was agreed by the board they could unload and unload within 15 minutes. The stormwater containment and drainage system plans have been updated to address the comments from Anthony Oliveri at Dolph Rotfeld and Jim Cattell of Clark Companies is here tonight to give you an update on that. So that's where we stand. Chris will go over the, um, the renderings that we showed you um, on May 1st, as well as the color selections, construction materials, and then Jim will give you an update on the stormwater plan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think he has an issue. 
Use your mic. Oh, the mic. So the circulation plan here uh, has not been updated since the last plan. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no, there was seemingly no issue with how this was laid out. So we left it as is. I just okay. brought it for reference if there was any questions. Um, the plans here, uh, we have the blow up of the building plan, the comfort station, and the site plan here. Uh, the additions since the last meeting were the change in the location of the press box to be exactly where it is existing. It's actually inset a little bit uh, closer to the field than it is currently um, and integrated in with the bleacher systems here uh, on the south end. Because we and I believe a, a number of people on the north side didn't want the, the press box on the north side, we shifted it to the south. Uh, but since Concordia is concerned about the noise to the neighbors, uh, they placed, they're proposing to place the speakers at 10 foot height poles at the corner, two locations at the corner of the field here and here, um, and those would be facing south. So uh, if there were any announcements from the press box, that noise would be coming to the south away from the neighbors. Um, in addition, uh, we're showing that along with the crosswalk that's proposed um, across Rose Avenue here, uh, we're repaving a few spots here to get a one ADA access space, um, which would satisfy the 22 spaces here uh, along Rose Avenue. Um, the fence along the perimeter by the neighbors. We are now showing as a board on board pine fence with a medium mahogany stain, which is what this color represents, which mm -hmm. uh, we did we had discussed during the working session. And those that goes along the north property and the east property line. Along the south property line, oh, just to back up, along the west property line is an existing five foot stone wall. So we're not proposing any fencing or additional barrier there. That's just to remain. And along the south side, we're taking down the chain link that's existing there as it's deteriorated significantly. And what we would be putting in its place would be a six foot decorative steel Show fence. The, uh um, the one pictured here is eight foot, but it would be similar design. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be a solid steel picket with a uh, tube posts, powder coated black or painted black. So it would be uh, quite an improvement from the existing chain link that's there. From a maintenance perspective, would you consider galvanizing that uh, so that it would last forever, basically? Normally, when we powder coat, it's galvanized first. Okay. So it, it, when you galvanize and powder coat, it, you essentially buy it for a, a century. Yes, correct. You know, it's, you're never going to have to do yeah. anything to it. Don't want to see it rusted in five years. Right. Um, just for a reminder, these are the two different bleacher systems. We have a concrete bleacher system with a wood seat that's built into the slope and depending on the site conditions as, as the excavation occurs and the shop drawings come in for this, these structures, we also have an alternate which is a steel, again, black powder coated galvanized uh, structure with the same wood seat on it. Um, those wood panels can be replaced individually if any of them are damaged or, or broken okay. or vandalized. And the bleachers will be in the same location they currently are, correct? Correct. Okay. And have the same capacity. Okay. And just a quick detail of the fence and how that it's very slightly ornament, ornamented on the posts only mm -hmm. and some varying in the height of the pickets. But other than that, it's a very simple um, design that you see all over a lot of institutions. Okay. Can we see that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a problem. You good? I don't see it. Thank you. If 
we move along to the elevations of the building. Since the last meeting, uh, we've revised some of the materials, some of the windows, and lowered the peak of the roof. Uh, the slope of the roof was a 5 and 12, and we've lowered that to a 4 and 12. So even further bringing down that elevation from, from the uh, height at, at the street, you can see here that we're well below. We're almost at the ground elevation, let alone the five-foot stone wall that's there. Okay. Um, for materials, we have a light gray for the roof. Mm -hmm. It would be uh, a standing seam metal roof. For the windows, we're proposing a, a slightly darker gray for the window uh, frames. And for the sills of the of the windows, we're proposing a natural bluestone, which is local to New York. This is this actual piece came from uh, about an hour north of here, from okay. a quarry that we work with. Um, and the lintels of the, of the windows would be a cast stone in the same color of the brick. Uh, we would pick out, this is the sample of the brick here, which is close in color and variation to the existing buildings. Uh, on Concordia campus, and uh, we would make sure to continue to match that as we get the samples from the contractor. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the lintels for those windows, we would pick one color, likely a muted color, like the top left corner here, and that would be just a uniform color for the, for the cast stone lintel. To give a sense of the elevations and the press box. The press box is located along Rose Avenue, as you can see in the plan here, in, this, in the same location it is. All the materials would match the Comfort Station building, same as this building here, with the same window color, st standing seam metal roof, and the same brick. Uh, and we would have a cast stone along that base of the windows, likely the bluestone as well. Um, and we show the two different bleacher systems, how that interacts with the slope here and the grade down to the field. It gives a good view for all the people sitting in the bleachers over the fence, so they're not looking through the chain link to, the, to watch the game. And as a last piece, a small storage shed was added adjacent to the uh, comfort station. It's an eight by 12 footprint. Uh, and would allow for the grooming equipment for the field to be stored there. Uh, most of the other maintenance equipment would be brought in um, to mow the lawns and weed whack and, and all that. But for the specific grooming equipment for this field, they would be storing that adjacent to the site. So that's a simple structure here that you can see. The height at the tallest point would be about eight feet. Uh, and then shed, uh, a simple shed roof off the back. Again, similar materials to the other structures on site. It would be a simple slab on grade, not heated. And the materials uh, around the building, or the, the uh, materials for the structure itself, is that going to be brick or is that going to be, uh, uh, what kind of materials are it you would, proposing? It would likely, it would be, instead of um, the comfort station, would be a cinder block interior right. with an insulation layer and then a brick exterior. Right. This would most likely be a timber interior okay. uh, with um, a coating, a plywood and a coating, and then a brick exterior. A oh, brick exterior, okay. And it would be a slab on grade. And we'll have two, two doors to, to allow the equipment yeah, to come foot, out? two four foot doors on the 12 foot section. So it, the 12 foot section opens to the field and it's eight foot deep. Okay. Um, and that would allow for uh, two four foot doors to swing open that way. Is that adjacent to the building? I'm not sure, I don't re um, so you have the, the only, outside of the field, the only level area on the site is right here at the western side. Mm -hmm. And so 
entering the building is on the eastern side of that yeah, building. I get that, right. And same thing over here. So you'd be is able that to a t what I'm trying to figure out is, is this particular structure in relationship to the, uh, the new facility. How, are they attached? Are they no, semi-attached? No, no. How far apart are they? I'm not sure I understand they're that yet. They're attached by about 15 feet. 15 feet, OK. Yeah. So there, it's likely that there could be some either um, gasoline or storage or since this would be a utility shed okay. uh, we did not want that attached to the building because okay. uh, it causes some code issues when it's a habitable space okay right. and I think that is it for all the updates I have some more pictures under here okay we went over those previously and I will hand it off to Jim for any updates on the stormwater I want to see this can Do you have any questions, by the way? Sorry. Sorry. Can we see one of the um, the portable signs you're going to be using? Oh, sure. I know you said you brought one. <laughs> she lugged it all the way here. Yeah. yeah. It's all the way here. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> These we use for admission events and we can change them and we would use that to say event parking so mm -hmm. we can pick them up and move them around um, you know we can store some in the storage shed if we need to but we pretty much use these all over campus when we have events so this is what we would be using to direct people to where they have to park and where they have to go okay thank okay. you Any questions? okay Clear. okay so we move on to the stormwater please okay. Thank you. My name is Jim Catella. Um, um, last month, when I appeared at the meeting, we had received a response letter from Anthony Oliveri uh, regarding our stormwater pollution prevention plan for this site. Um, and at the working meeting, I gave you an update on that. The plan has been resubmitted in full. To Anthony what we were waiting on um, was he asked for some um, stormwater information downstream at, of Rose on Rose Avenue at Everett Road and on down to Crawford Road so I'm going to show you what took so long So this is the survey from Kenneth Salzman before it ended here at the end of the field. So we had to extend the drawing. And that was our idea, was to tie it all together. So it wasn't just me out there measuring drainage inlets, but a licensed land surveyor mapping the drainage information down Rose Avenue, topographic survey down Rose Avenue, and identifying and sizing and uh, giving us inverts of all the structures down here and what the flow directions were. So with that, we were able to complete the stormwater pollution prevention plan and our full set of drawings, all of which make up that plan that is in front of Anthony for his final uh, approval. To transmit that, we wrote a letter of response to the points that he had identified on April 12th and included this signed and sealed survey, signed and stamped drawings, and the revised stormwater plan pulling together, we believe, everything that he asked for. Um, I have hard copies to leave here of uh, the um, sealed uh, plan, but we await his final approval. His uh, latest response is it, that it looked like we had done everything in line with what he was looking for. But we had to wait on that survey to pull it all together. Okay. Any 
questions? No questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? We'll open up the public hearing. Yes, we'll do that in a second. I just want to, so you, you, you're complete your uh, uh, presentation, correct? All right. So at this point, I'd like to make a motion to open the public uh, hearing. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Is anyone here this evening to speak on this application? Since there is no one here this evening to speak on this application, I make a motion to close the public hearing. I make a motion to close the public hearing. Can I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Okay. So at this point, we'd like to read a resolution. All right. The Village of Tuckahoe Planning Board Resolution Decision. Applicant Concordia College, location of project 200 White Plains Road, Tuckahoe, section 31, block floor 4, lot 50. Description of project Concordia College seeks to make improvements to an existing soccer field located at 200 White Plains Road. The improvements include, but are not limited to the following, a new turf field, a new press box, new bleachers, a new sound system, a new scoreboard, a new drainage system, a new fence, new landscaping, and a new field house consisting of locker rooms and a concession stand. CEQA resolution. Pursuant to the regulations of CEQA, this board finds that one, the action taken herein is an unlisted action subject to the requirements of CEQA and its implant implementing regulations. Two, this board is in possession of all information reasonably necessary to make the determination as to the environmental significance mm -hmm. of the proposed site plan application. Three, that the action here taken herein shall not have a significant adverse impact on the environment and it is declared that a negative declaration is hereby adopted with regard to this mm -hmm. action. The following is the resolution decision of the planning board of the village of Tuckahoe. New York. In rendering this decision, this board has had multiple work sessions, multiple public hearings, input from the village planners, BFJ Planning, the, village, the village's engineer, Dolph Rothfeld, Engineering PC, and the village's chief of police, John Costanzo. We have also reviewed the submissions by the public and have taken the public's comments into consideration. It should be noted that the plans have been substantially improved by the applicant from its first submission based on the comments from the above. We commend Concordia, Co Concordia College in listening to the experts in public and, and altering their plans to accommodate everyone as best as possible. From the initial meeting, Concordia stated its goal was to be a good neighbor and we, we believe they have achieved that goal with its final plan. This board must look to section 7-1 of the Village Tuckahoe's zoning code for the standards to approve site plans. The following are the standards and our, and our analysis of the same. One, safe, adequate, and convenient vehicular and pedestrian traffic circulation both within and without the site. At least the following aspects of the site plan shall be evaluated to determine conformity to this standard. The applicant has submitted a circulation plan dated May 15, 2018. Said plan has been reviewed by our planners, BFJ planning and our chief of police John Costanzo and both are satisfied with the plan as we as are we we believe the plan will allow for safe vehicular traffic on and around the site the attendance and additional signage called for during events held on the site will be able to adequately direct traffic to and from the parking areas on Concordia's property during said events we find the crosswalk to be added to Rose Avenue would allow safe pedestrian passage from the site to Concordia's additional parking areas. As a crosswalk will be located on village property, we recommend the village board approve, approve the proposed work to be done on Rose with any additional signage required by the chief of police and the cost of the crosswalk and required signage should be paid for by the applicant. Two, the protection of environmental quality and the preservation and enhancement of profit, property values in the neighboring area. With the additional fencing and landscaping, we believe the project will enhance the neighboring area. The additional improvements will adequately shield the neighboring properties, allowing more privacy to the neighbors than they already enjoy. The relocation of the press box to the side of the field away from the properties will be a large improvement to the originally proposed location of the press box on the neighbor's side. Further, the sound system location on the neighbor's side will also be a large improvement, allowing the applicant to direct the sound away from the adjacent neighbors. The locker and concession facility will be far enough away from the neighbors as to have no impact on them. The facility will also be located in an area as minimally, as, as minimally be seen from White Plains Road. 
As to the drainage erosion, the applicant has proposed an amended drainage erosion plan that is currently being reviewed by the village's engineer, Anthony Oliveri from Doff Rotfeld Engineering PC. After a cursory review by Oliveri, he indicated it appears the applicant has addressed all his concerns from its original submission. However, Mr. Oliveri would need additional time to carefully review same. Therefore, this approval is conditioned upon Mr. Oliveri and the building inspector, Mr. Williams, giving their final approval to the drainage erosion plan. Three, a quality of building and overall site design, which will enhance and protect the character and property values of the adjacent neighborhood. The applicant is replacing a field that is in major need of repair and updating. The applicant's proposed improvements will enhance the surrounding neighborhood. As stated previously, Concordia has greatly improved the proje proposed project after comments from the public, this board, and the consultants to this board. Based on the above, the applicant's pr proposed site plan is approved with the following condition. One, the applicant shall shall strictly adhere to the traffic plan submitted if it is determined by the building inspector or code enforcement agent that the plan is not being complied with then the applicant must appear back before this board to determine if this approval should be revoked two there shall be no exterior lighting on the site other than security security lighting to be approved by the building department and the planning board chairperson located around the concession Com comfort building the circulation plan refers to event days. Event days shall be defined as any Concordia home games and any game played by any other entity, entity utilizing the field. Buses may, four, buses may only drop off and pick up on Rose Avenue. However, no bus shall be allowed to remain on Rose Avenue in, ex in excess of 15 minutes. At the time of drop off and pick up, there shall be an attendant located on Rose Avenue to ensure orderly pedestrian and vehicular traffic. Five, there shall be no, oh, five, there shall be an escrow set up with the building department in an amount to be, to be determined by the building inspector for the payment of the village's engineer or other professional to ensure compliance with the erosion plan and any other post approval issues. Six, this approval is conditioned upon the village's engineer, Anthony Oliveri, and the village's building inspector, Bill Williams, signing off on the final erosion drainage plan. Every representation of the applicant made in its application and presentation will be a condition of this approval. Any deviation from the representations made shall be cause for the revocation of such of said approval. Okay. I make a motion we approve this application. Second. Uh, Nancy, please take a uh, roll. Four. Four. In favor. Uh, congratulations, and thank, and thank you for being a great neighbor. I know it's been a little bit of a process, but uh, I, I really appreciate all the time and effort uh, Concordia has placed in uh, this application. Yes, and on behalf of Concordia College and everyone here tonight, I'd like to thank the board, Gary, Noah, everyone here, and for your patience as well as we work through this process, and we're very excited, and we look forward to seeing you all at the ribbon cutting. Yeah, thank great. You. Thank you. Uh, since there's no other business in front of the board, I make a motion to, uh, to adjourn. Second. No all in favor? Aye. Good night, everybody.